Oh, you found the video. <laughs> Good. I was hoping that you wouldn't have any trouble finding the place. Uh, you got a napkin? That's a big puddle of water. <gasps> I didn't gasp for a reason. I just wanted to gasp to get your attention. Hi, welcome. Hi, my name is Brandon Ferris, and your name's probably Becky or something. <laughs> I just went on the old www.whosedonkeyisthis.com. Uh, pretty weird. I would, I don't suggest going there. But then I somehow found a link for Google, went there, found a recipe for Beef Wellington. Ran that through Google Translate. Step one, the kitchen is where you use the crown, where the cord is connected to four pieces of meat. I think I spoke five commas <laughs> into that sentence. I just so happen to have half a jar of pickles sitting next to four pieces of meat. Didn't do nothing. <clears throat> Your meat's real slippery, Becky. It's like a shish kebab. Or Becky, shishka Becky. Step two, wash your hair with salt and pepper over the meat. Then I don't need salt. It's a dandruff joke. I swear, I don't wanna have to explain everything to you, Becky. Look at all that. Yeah, oh, I need to put the salt and pepper in my hair. I'm gonna make a tiny mixture of salt and pepper hair shampoo. <laughs> oh, what? Like this. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's just say all that was salt. Step three, on high heat, lower the heavy pot of broth and olive oil. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of DIY. Yeah. Okay. That's how you make a pulley system. Why aren't you working? Empty? Abort. My pulley system's ripped. I trusted you. Did I just make a kitchen swing? <laughs> Once the pan is almost smoking, grill until meat is well browned on all sides. What do I do if it all's ready smoked? Y'all know how to fix a hole in the ceiling? Or a smoke detector? Let me know before you're almost about to smoke so I can put my shishka becky on the grill. You don't even see this, do you? You have no idea. You're not seeing any of this, nothing. You're not concerned one bit. My neighbor's smoke alarm went off. Is it your fault? <laughs> a little warning, maybe? Someone's at the door, but I have pepper in my hair. Yes. Yes, it was someone at the door. What did they ask? They were like, is everything okay? And I was like, yeah. Except for my meat. And then just stood there. <laughs> oh, it's for my meat. All right, moving to a new apartment soon. <laughs> when cool enough to handle, label the eyelids and coat on all sides with mustard. Finally, a little more flavor. It's a little raw in some areas, but we'll just cover that up with mustard. I also labeled my eyelids left and right, but I think I did it wrong. Can I get you a head scratch of salt? Salt Bay? <laughs> more like salt restraining order. Yum, it looks... Becky? <laughs> Escort into the refrigerator. Want me to be an escort? Say less. <laughs> oh, Becky, you're so funny. I can't wait to see what we get up to later. No, that dress looks fine. How'd I do? <laughs> Give me at least a heads up. Okay, Becky, I'm a bouncer. You're, you're a pile of meat. And unfortunately, I have to escort you out of the club because you're being unkosher. And action. No, Becky, I don't care how good your hair is. I own this club, and I will not have such a disrespect. And stay <laughs> Scene three, Becky, I'm, ooh, I'm your older cousin. Back up, we're distant cousins, so make that happen. You don't have a date to the prom. I don't either. <laughs> you're, you're a little more desperate than I am. I'm doing this for you. This is your last ditch effort to go to prom. Okay, I'm gonna escort you into the ballroom. We are not dancing together. Don't touch me, don't talk to me. I'm gonna go drink punch, okay? Oh yeah, I'm super excited. Just don't put your hands on me. And, oh look, why don't you go out and dance and I'm gonna... In a food processor, whisk the mushroom shallots in time until completely dissolved. That's the least make a fire in my kitchen step that we've done so far. That's probably for us. I just realized I don't have the cup for the food processor. So we're gonna have to do it manually with my Annually. Shut up. All I gotta do is beat these up until they're completely dissolved. And I went to prom with my first cousin, so I know all about getting beat up. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but this is also going to hurt. That was a test. I couldn't help but notice that you didn't stop me or try to help. What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm? No. Prom with my cousin? I, no. 
<laughs> Get out of here. We need to go. You don't even need a food processor. What did they do back in the 19... 80s when they didn't have utensils. That's gonna be good. <laughs> Seriously, we need to get going. Heat the oil and then put the mushroom mix in a pan on medium heat. We're using the heat again. Oh. Ha, where's the sizzle? Oh. Ah. <laughs> Peggy, wrap it up. Season with salt and pepper and refrigerator. I've been accidentally seasoning everything with salt and pepper. Kosher baby dill. Uh, Y'all want him, okay? He probably has a baby dill anyway. Apply the plastic cap on the face, tightening to double the width of the teardrops. Who, with, with the, the, uh, the teardrops? Who's gonna, me? I don't wanna, what's wrong with my face ID? It's me, <laughs> Brandon, first cousin of Becky. Can I take this off? It's kind of muffling my tears. Tie the prosciutto in plastic. My prosciutto's already in plastic. That's it. <laughs> That's not gonna cover my shishkabeki. Roll the meat into a prosciutto mushroom mixture using plastic wrap to give it closure. I, do, I, do I have to do every, don't you have a boyfriend? Prosciutto mushroom mix. Yeah, that looks like a choking hazard. Then firmly insert the plastic wrap into a notebook and transfer it tightly to closed refrigerator. Don't even think about talking to baby dill, okay? The temperature in the oven is 425. Yes, it is. Has been. Ever since you told me to the first time to do it. I, one second. With a sigh, the dust is removed from your work. <sighs> it's not really a dust, it's more of a sealing drywall salt and pepper scalp mixture. The gift that keeps on seasoning. When the tenderloin is completely covered with dough, cut out any excess dough and place it neatly in a cream sauce. Get your tiny pickle off of her. How do you open these? Start here. <laughs> There's so many words. <laughs> kind of looks like human skin. I mean, like for a uh, cookie mix or something. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it one more time. Now I know your tricks. Aha! Oh, no. oh, yeah. Roll that tightly into a Wellington. That looks good. It's a meat-filled skin pocket. I like, well, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Right, Becky, I'm gonna need you to suck it in for me. Drill a hole for 20 minutes. Yeah. All right. That should be some sort of violation. I think I drilled into my neighbor's carpet. Take out the plastic wrap and move the roll to the wrapper's bed for a bake-off. Hey. Yeah. Oh, fantastic, you're awake, let's go. I can't. I'm sorry, what? I can't. Why? He's awake. Okay. Arms are heavy. Gotcha. And there's vomit on my sweater already. Right. M&M &M &M. there. Yeah, no, I caught onto that pretty quick. All right, well, I made this cake, so I guess I win. I'd... I'm sorry, what's that? It's mom's spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti. Okay, of course it is. I'm not. As usual, the beef is baked at 120 degrees Celsius. The beef? She has a name. Go on, tell him. Beef, Becky. Be um, Becky, tell him. Tell him about your pickle boyfriend. <laughs> You're gonna do great. He might melt. And now we wait. It's done. How do you look? Oh, Becky. <laughs> and last, but definitely not taking you to prom again, please take a moment to break a drink and then eat. Let's try it. You really do have the good hair, Becky. Oh, that's so salty. <laughs> there was a hair in it, that's probably why. Well, that's it, that's Google Translate. If for some reason you wanna see more Google Translate, don't worry, your burnt beef, Quebecky. I made a playlist. Thank you for watching. This is a really good cake. You made this cake?